Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, May 27th, 2024, Memorial Day. And I wanted to talk about Memorial Day. Uh, my God, so many people have died throughout history. And we're going to get into that. We're going to talk about the Romans a little bit. And we'll talk about uh, the Americans that have died for Memorial Day. But you know what? I, you know, the Spartans, I, if you look back through history, I mean, most of the time you're dying for your politicians. Just like Britain right now. Britain right now, the politicians want to conscript uh, their youth and send them to war. But the politicians are going to sit back in Britain and say, Oh, you guys, you oh, young kids, you all die, you all die, you know. So, but the Spartans, if you if you understand warfare, they were up front with the troops, and they all died together. Their leaders and the troops, and that's the way it should be. There's no way that politicians should be, should be allowed, like Lindsey Graham or uh, these idiots in Washington D.C., should be allowed to send young uh, American troops into battle without paying the ultimate sacrifice. And then, of course, their kids, you know, none of their kids go to war, right? Uh, so I just wanted to kind of make a Memorial Day video. Uh, let's, just, let's just get into it. Um, all right, so the first thing was, um, and uh, by the way, I, I put out a video about two days ago, and I showed you the bombs hitting the refugee camp in Palestine. And I, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't really give the commentary on that, but you know what? Let's watch, uh, before I get started with the video, let's watch George Galloway. I mean, I tell you what, I, I, every time I see him, and I hate to steal his material, but I want to steer you to his channel. It, it's the mother of all talk shows, the mother of all talk shows. And I think as long as that I give him attribution, uh, he probably appreciates the fact that I'm, I'm telling people to go watch him. Let's watch that. Hell no, our kids won't go. Very soon in Britain, it may be legally impossible for a young person to buy cigarettes, but compulsory for them to go to war. Joe Biden's wars in Ukraine, in Gaza perchance, against Iran perhaps. Well, we know which is the more dangerous lifestyle and pastime. And as we cross the threshold of five Hiroshima bombs dropped on a concentration camp called Gaza, 75,000 tons of high explosives in the last hour, a family of 11 have been entirely wiped out in the Gaza Strip in a military attack on terrorists, except Virtually every one of the 11 members in the family were children, as well as their mother, of course. And they're off and running, well, stumbling. Roland Rat versus Daddy Pig. That's right, Rishi versus Kia. The world's highest court, the ICJ, of which Israel is a member, a participating member, a signatory to all the protocols has been ordered by Netanyahu to stop their anti-Semitism. The ICJ demanded that Israel halt their assault on the tent city of Rafa, where 1.3 million people are sheltering from the storm of missiles, rockets, bombs, artillery shells, shells from warships, everything that America can give and that Israel can throw. Just in the last hour, a whole family of 11, mother, father, and nine children have been wiped out in Gaza. All in the name of self-defense, of course. All in the name of Israel having a right to defend itself. 
and the Wall Street Journal produces a leader which argues that it is legally possible to kill children. That is legally to kill children, according to the Wall Street Journal. These ghouls, these monsters who preside over us and provide the chorus to justify the criminal insanity of our rulers to win consent for the prevailing orthodoxy, the prevailing narrative, have got to be stopped. They have got to be overthrown. Our governments are leading us to disaster. And Gaza is only one of the theatres in which they are doing it. Ukraine looks now virtually certain to collapse over the next few weeks. What's the Western answer? Not to cut their losses, your losses of trillions of your taxes, but to reinforce failure and to send our young men into the maw in the conflict between NATO and the Russian Federation. Problem is, the young people are not prepared to go. Even the Ukrainian young people are not prepared to go. Not even one third of those recently mobilized by the Chief Martial Law Administrator, Volodymyr Zelensky, whose presidential term is now null and void. He made a new mobilization order. 32% of those mobilized have turned up. So the Ukrainian young and old men are not prepared to fight for NATO. Easily solved though, isn't it? Let's get NATO to fight for them. Let's send our soldiers into the blizzard, for that is exactly what it would be. The French are already there. Of course, they claim it's a foreign legion. They're not really French, although they are wearing the French insignia and receiving their salaries from the presidency of France. But they are there even though NATO has repeatedly said that it has no intention of joining the war. Germany has refused to supply even more deadly missiles with which to kill Russian civilians because they would have to send their own personnel to help operate them. Why then are there so many German soldiers called mercenaries already there fighting in the Ukraine? Fighting and dying. Ditto Poland, the largest single component of the multinational intervention in what is a civil war in Ukraine. Who knew that NATO's role was to intervene in civil wars on the border of the Russian Federation, a nuclear armed superpower with multiple hypersonic capability and a dead man switch? If Russia is attacked with nuclear weapons, every single nuclear weapon in Russia, that's 6,800 of them, will simultaneously be launched at pre-programmed targets near you. Every target in the United States, every city, every town will be completely incinerated. You will be ash. Even if the entire Russian leadership is taken out by a first strike of nuclear weapons from NATO against Russia. Ditto every town and city in France, in Germany, in Britain, in Italy, in Poland. They will all be turned to ash. The world will turn into a nuclear winter, even if all the Russian leaders and generals are dead. It's automatic. It's a computer dead man switch. Have you thought about this? And then, of course, there's Britain. Okay, so that, that was George Galloway. Oh my God, crazy. 
All right, so uh, I agree with Bernie Sanders on no aid to Israel. <laughs> My God, I never thought I'd agree with Bernie Sanders on anything. Ireland, Norway, and Spain recognized the state of Palestine. Uh, that, that, that was crazy. Uh, 123 nations, and I think I put this in a previous video, want Palestinian state, only nine against. Uh, of course, the United States, uh, the Biden administration, the freaking warmongering Democrats, the warmongering Democrats. Uh, anyway, they, I tell you what, they, anyway, all right, so let's just keep going, toss that aside. Uh, let's get into the next uh, video here. Um, Oh yeah, I tell you, this this was out of Russia. Let's let's watch a little bit of Russian hardware at work. <laughs> if you want to look at it that way. Now, everybody keeps estimating the numbers at 500,000, 400,000, 300,000. Oh, hell no, man. We've got a million dead Ukrainians uh, fighting for NATO. Uh, it's just the most ridiculous war that I've ever seen. This, this is why this is called Memorial Day, right? This is Memorial Day. So let's, I mean, let's go look at the graveyards in Ukraine the memorials that are taking place. Yes. So let's watch a, a little bit of Russian hardware. <laughs> here on my bookmarks. Uh, this was a really good one uh, because it's Memorial Day. It's, it, this is a channel like, I don't even know who these people are, World at War. U.S. warns Russia of total destruction. So the Polish Foreign Minister, Radoslav, 
sick roski <laughs> i you know, I, I tell you i have a hard time pronouncing these uh these things americans told the russians that if you detonate a nuclear bomb even if it doesn't kill anyone we will hit hit all of your targets and positions in ukraine with conventional weapons and destroy them all well guess the fuck what you stupid son of a gun russia has a dead man switch they got six thousand nuclear weapons that are going to launch and guess where they're going to go all over the freaking world we're going to be living in a nuclear winter i mean you know go back to the terminator movies if you want to look at what it's what life's going to be like i mean if you do survive i mean it's going to be light living hell on earth uh these people are lunatics man so yeah yeah okay you want to say that you're going to hit Russia with nuclear weapons? Well, Russia's going to hit you right back, you stupid sons of guns. All right. This is Jason Hinkle. I, you know, I'll tell you what, I like him. Uh, I'm sorry that he, he, he's not posting many videos anymore, but he does pretty good. Israel just bombed refugees near the UNRWA warehouses northwest of Rafa. Now, this was my previous video. And I showed you one bomb coming down, but this is this is another video, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show it to you. All right, so let's let's get this. Uh, God dang, go on. So there you go. I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's such a beautiful thing that the Israelis are exterminating the Palestinians. I don't even know where the American people come from on all of this. Uh, let's watch another video about that. Uh, here. stuff <laughs> we just watched them bomb a refugee camp i mean can you imagine you're living in a freaking tent because you've been chased out of your house you know probably uh, some of your families already did and uh and then the israelis are going to drop two thousand pound bombs on your head in a refugee camp and the american christians the american people are all for this i you know i i i just oh my god it's, it's kind of like you know, how much I hate Democrats. I, you know, I, oh, holy moly. I mean, am I coming to hate the American people? I mean, it seems like Donald Trump or, uh, or, or politicians, uh, Lindsey Graham and all these freaking lunatics are for just exterminating the Palestinians. Well, okay, fine. I guess they're subhuman. They're subhuman people. They need to be exterminated. That's, I guess that's where we are. So the ICC has charged Netanyahu with war crimes. Wow. And then, of course, the United States says, oh, we're going we're gonna, to, like, sanction the ICC. Okay, good. Good for you. All uh, right, but Germany says that they're going to recognize the ICC. Uh, there's a lot of countries in the world that actually uh, listen to the UN. The UN was set up to be a unifying body around the world. Uh, you understand there are... There are other countries besides the United States <laughs> that exist in the world. I mean, you know, if you're watching this video, 
I mean, there, there's like, you know, what, what, 300 countries around the world or something? I mean, and, but and so all the countries are saying, yeah, we, we recognize the International Criminal Court. Uh, every human rights organization calls Israel an apartheid state. 100, and, well, okay, 143 countries now support a Palestinian state. The U.S. and Israel says they're all anti-Semites. Uh, this was uh, a post that I put up, and I think I did this in a previous video, but I'm just going to redo this. The Catholic Church is completely and no longer serves Jesus Christ if they feel illegal immigration in the United States is what God wants. I mean, are you kidding me? I mean, well, okay, let's, let's talk about illegal immigration for just one second. All right, right now the UN has all of their uh, stuff just north of Panama uh, where they they got camps and they're facilitating all of these uh, illegal immigrants coming into the United States. Now, why is the UN uh, and, of course, the United States government paying to bring all these illegal immigrants into the United States? You know, I thought it was all about votes. Then I thought it was about developing an army because a lot of them are Chinese. Uh, then I thought well, it's more about human trafficking because we got fentanyl coming in and we've got uh, uh, women that are being sold into prostitution. Uh, so I guess it's kind of like all of the above. And this is what Democrats want. This is what Democrats want. I tell you what, the Democrats are the most evil people on the planet. Let's just keep going. So the um, United States is what God wants. Uh, yeah, this is this insanity indicates uh, their church is evil. That's what I'm saying about the Catholic Church. If you remember the Catholic Church, if you if you're worshiping your pope, he's an evil son of a gun. That's all I got to say. All right, so let's keep going. Um, this is Sprinter Factory. Uh, this is, by the way, I think this is a CIA <laughs> troll on. Uh, on uh, X, but you know, I, 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 you gotta follow everybody, right? And that's what my uh, my best friend he encourages me to do. He says, you know, you can't just follow right wing or left wing. You gotta follow everybody. But then he says, Zelensky, my mandate has not yet expired. Well, guess what, Zelensky, your freaking term of uh, of being a, a representative of Ukraine just expired. And uh, Russia no longer recognizes you, and most of the world doesn't recognize you as a legitimate president of Ukraine. You corrupt, evil son of a gun. Uh, you know, and, and, and if Joe Biden said we're not going to have elections here in the United States come 2024, do you think I'm going to recognize Joe Biden as a legitimate president of the United States? Are you going to recognize Joe Biden as a legitimate president of the United States if he doesn't hold elections? Are you recognizing Zelensky as a legitimate president of Ukraine? I would hope not, unless you're just totally uh, divorced from reality. Uh, my five years as president of the state have not yet ended. Yes, they did. Due to the state of war, they are being extended, said Vladimir Zelensky. I tell you what, that is one evil bastard. All right, so let's keep going. Uh, this is Marjorie Taylor Greene Press. I, I don't know if this is really her. France abolished mail-in voting in 1975. Mexico abolished mail-in voting in 1972. Belgium abolished mail-in voting. We, we, we still got mail-in voting here in the United States. Italy does not allow mail-in voting. Japan does not allow mail-in voting. Sweden does not allow mail-in voting. So why does America allow it? Because the Democrats want it. Because the Democrats, the evil mafia, the freaking lunatic Democrats want to rig the election. Don't tell me you're not. I mean, what's wrong with voter ID? Why do you want 10 million illegal immigrants in the country? All right, you tell me. Uh, let's keep going. This is, uh, this is a new um, follower on X that I just uh, tuned into. This is called Peacemaker. The Russians are determined. Russian state television has officially announced that if NATO troops move into Ukraine, they will use nuclear weapons and bomb their headquarters, and then Samat uh, Avgarina jars will fly all nuclear missiles. This news is not just who appointed directly by Putin, but led to the state media group and its branches, so the news is straight from the source. Why such a statement at this time? 
Perhaps it has something to do with the fact that the French army arrived in Odessa. By the way, a lot of NATO troops, if you didn't know, are arriving in Ukraine. And, uh, well, they're all going to die. <laughs> I'm sorry if you've got a son or a daughter in the military in the United States or France or, or Germany or uh, uh, whatever. They're all coming back in coffins. Uh, let's just put it that way. And I won't even read the rest of this. There are, well, I'll just read a little bit. There is supposedly a large number of French in, in Ukraine. The French government sends them there as mercenaries and promises them a lot of money. Can you imagine? I mean, what amount of money do you want to take to end your life? I, I you know, I never fought for money. I mean, I never, I think about it. I, my top rank was staff sergeant and don't, don't understand, I mean, please understand, I didn't make a lot of money in the U.S. military. Um, so I wasn't serving to, to go die as a mercenary uh, for a bit of money. But, I mean, if they had offered me, they said, look, you know, we want you to go fight on the front lines in Ukraine against Russia. And more than likely, you know, you're only going to survive a couple of days. I mean, I guess they, they maybe, you know, my family might get some sort of insurance policy that uh, is worth a, a million dollars or something. I mean, I, I guess that there are men and women out there that will, will sell themselves to be killed on the front lines of Ukraine. I, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't make much sense to me. So many NATO soldiers have also died every time the Ukrainians took out a Ukrainian anti-aircraft system due to their complexity. Well, and, and well, that's that's something that you know a lot of people don't understand. Is a lot of these weapons that these attackums, the uh, the any uh, uh, aircraft systems, they're all manned by NATO troops, and the Russians are taking them out with their missiles. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I could continue to read that. Ah, uh, let's see. This is Canadian prepper. According to Jennifer Zhang, North Korea. China and Russia are working on building a nuclear submarine. Well, I already talked about this. It's a nuclear submarine base. It's going to be paced right near uh, the Sea of Japan. Uh, that'll be coming in. Uh, neocons pushing for direct war with Russia. These people will never be satisfied until they destroy everything. Newland calls for strikes. And if you didn't watch Newland... Uh, uh, Laura Loner is going to start confronting elected Republicans in D.C. who haven't endorsed President Trump. Here's the GOP nominee, yet the rhino cowards stay quiet with Biden regime weaponizes the DOJ. All right, that's it, man. I tell you, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Peace out. Stay free. <laughs>
Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down.